Hi, my name is Jesse, and I'd like to invite you along with me as I build a new home on wheels, travel the country in search of national parks and new experiences, and maybe even get a little rowdy sometimes. So come with me as I meet new people, have new adventures, and soak in all the natural beauty the world has to offer. This is my 2001 International Rear Engine Diesel School Bus that I'm going to be spending the next few months converting into my new home. So this is how I got the bus. Uh, there were a couple of bunk beds and the main bed in the back framed up. I went ahead and took them down and cleaned up a little bit. We had a lot of foam and aluminum sheet left by the previous owner. First things first, it's a little a little low. At 6'1", I don't have a whole lot of room in here. So the first order of business is actually stripping out the inside and preparing for a roof raise. But yeah, the first thing we're gonna do is start taking out all the screws that you see everywhere on this bus. Now each of these ribs has 60 screws in it. And when you combine the total of all the screws on the roof of the bus, we actually have about 540 that need to be removed. And then when you look at the sides here, all these panels, upper and lower, we actually have over 600 screws combined from side to side. And then when you even look at all of the screws that are gonna be on the end panels that are gonna get removed here, anything that's gonna be on the front, we actually end up with about 1,500 screws that we need to individually take out of the bus. Before I can take the upper sheet metal off and the windows out, I need to take all these panels out. This is gonna have electrical running to the back of the bus, most likely to the rear lights, but also all of the interior lights. Um, so I'll just disconnect or cut those wires since the whole bus is gonna get rewired anyway. to get dark and I have about a thousand more screws to take out of the rest of the ceiling and the side panels and everything so I'm gonna keep working on that uh, until I run out of battery probably spent plenty of time got all the screws out got all these side panels off there's only little screws on each side and one in the center holding uh, almost all these panels back on. You can kind of see them coming off. So I was excited enough and close enough, I wanted to go ahead and get these down and maybe even get this insulation bagged up tonight. Um, and I, that'll put me, I think, in a really good spot. You know, first day, uh, getting a lot of the interior stripped out. Still have to do all the side panels. I have a little uh, roll around stool that I think I'm going to use uh, to make it a little bit easier, but uh, it should look like something. So, here we go.
right. I got four more panels to go. I'm going to at least get two more out tonight, and then I might call it a night. I'm going to want to get my respirator before I start messing with this insulation. Yeah, this stuff's pretty garbage. Maybe an inch and a half thickness here. Uh, I'm going to be building out the walls and ceiling a couple inches to uh, be able to add more room for insulation. Eventually we'll get spray foam insulation in here. I think it's a good start. Day one, only a few hours. This wasn't a full day process. Now, if I had to take the seats out and if some of those, you know, handful of screws weren't taken out, it would have taken a lot longer. But uh, looking forward to getting all these windows out of here, ordering some RV windows and uh, start preparing and ordering supplies for the roof raise. So this is um, 6-1. We'll raise it to about two feet. So we'll have roughly eight foot of, of headroom in here which would be real nice to be able to stretch out, not be so close to it, so. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, it's another day back onto the bus. Uh, what I've accomplished um, a little bit today was I got the last two panels off of the ceiling, got this front panel off a little bit more, um, exposing uh, some of the flasher areas. Uh, I still have the panel in the rear needs to come off, but I'm not gonna do that right now. I have to deal with these uh, air boxes. That'll be for another day. So the next step, and kind of the big step I'm getting ready to suit up for, is taking all this insulation out. So got uh, all that insulation ripped down, the bulk of it at least. Uh, I am completely itchy uh, all over. It might be better if I had worn longer gloves or anything, but got all that taken care of. Uh, super pumped just to get that out of the way. I'm gonna definitely go back in with like a shop vac most likely and start scraping uh, a lot more of that off. I'm not worried about getting every little piece off, just the loose stuff. Um, again, it's gonna get spray, spray foamed and everything. I just wanna make sure stuff's not falling down when we go to raise the roof. Um, all of that, getting the panels off and the insulation uh, was only about uh, two and a half hours. You know, gonna get more of that cleaned up, get the back panels taken off, and then going to start prepping for the roof raise. Uh, so getting super excited um, to be able to do that, get that up, make it a little bit taller. And uh, there's a lot of work still left to do for that, but uh, I'm pumped.